I'm delighted to welcome our Provincial Grand Master this evening to talk to us about his plans for 2018. Provincial Grand Master, what are your plans for 2018? Well, our three top level objectives of membership, communication and Masonic premises remain as relevant now as they ever were, as do our five hours of recruitment, retention, relief, reform and responsibility. However, the big change for 2018 is focusing on delivery and results on these key issues. At the Provincial Officers' Mess in November last year, a number of key appointments were announced, including Mark Piles Thomas as Deputy Provincial Grand Master, James Marsh and Andrew Waddington as Assistant Provincial Grand Masters, and Paul Christopher as Provincial Grand Secretary. All of these young, enthusiastic individuals will bring something new to their respective roles in 2018, and I will be looking to them and the rest of the executive team to deliver on our objectives in a much more active way than ever before. I guess if there's a forgotten hour in our priorities, it's that of responsibility. In 2018, I will be looking to all my senior appointments to propose new, innovative and more effective approaches to deliver results in the coming years. There is a huge responsibility that comes with holding a senior provincial office and my duty is to ensure that colleagues have both the proper support they need to successfully undertake these crucial roles and also to perform optimally in every respect. When you say innovative and effective, what exactly do you mean? I think we can all identify areas in our activities that can work better. This is true of any organisation like ours and is in no reflection of the hard work that has been done by so many and of their executive predecessors in the province over many years. What I'm suggesting is that what was fit for purpose, say, five years ago, may well be obsolete now. But are we asking ourselves the question, should we as members still be doing the same things in the same way as of all we've always done? Take information technology as an example. It needs constant attention and updating to achieve the marvellous results it can deliver. But as we are, are we utilising it to its greatest extent? Do we understand its capabilities properly? Have we trained our key officers to use it? This is what I mean about reform in practical terms. However, if I have an ambition for 2018, it is to radically improve the quality of our practices so that we can serve our membership more effectively. These are very general ambitions. Can you identify the priorities where, on where you want to start? Again, as was announced at the Provincial Officers' Mess last year, the top priority is and remains membership. To reflect this, I've, I've tasked Mark Isles Thomas, our Deputy Provincial Grandmaster designate, to take overall charge of membership matters. In close cooperation with Jason Pearson, our Provincial Membership Officer on Recruitment, John Perkins, Provincial Mentor on Retention, and Bob Order, our Provincial Almoner on Retrieval Issues, which ties in neatly with the new United Grand Lodge of England membership pathway. In addition, we're moving steadily towards our next Festival Appeal, and I want our province to be in the best position possible for us to hit the ground running when this new target is launched. Roland Stokes, our Provincial Grand Charity Steward, and I will be giving this every consideration as the calm appeal draws to a close. Provincial Grand Master, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, and may I wish, offer you our very best wishes for 2018. Fred, thank you very much indeed, and my best wishes go to all our members for a healthy, happy, and hopefully exciting 2018.